Daniel Alonso uh, painted this. Uh, Danny, of course, painted the whale mirror on Ocean Park Boulevard. This is his masterpiece. He has like five others, but we're very excited that we can have some of his art uh, as the final piece on this altar, this beautiful altar that uh, Sylvia Sanchez and the Quintana family put together. Very blessed to have this amazing art with us today. <laughs> Family Center. I serve on the Santa Monica City Council. With me is the Executive Director of the Pico Youth and Family Center, Alex Aldana, as well, representing. Um, I guess we'll keep the mask on. So, just, uh, yeah, can you hear? Yeah? It's better without it. Better without it. All right, well, we'll make the, uh, we'll make the, the adjustment. Um, you know, we, uh, back in 1998, we, the Pico Youth and Family Center, celebrated the first Dia de los Muertos uh, in our organization's history. And it was in response to violence that had happened in the community. And so we, we gathered, you know, and, and we, uh, we wanted to, you know, celebrate the event because it's a, today is about, well, tomorrow the actual day starts, but today is uh, also, also a very important day. And we want to we bring, you know, we want to bring our, our, those that have passed on to the long life. You know, they say that, that when we die, we die three times. The first time when your body gives out, the second time when you have a funeral, right? There's a, there's a ceremony for you in memory of you. And then the third time is the worst, is when people forget you, when you're forgotten, right? And what's real important is that we not forget those that have passed on, that have made a positive impact on our lives. That's why this, this ceremony is a ceremony. It's not, like a, it's not like Halloween, you know? And it definitely is nothing close to that. But this is a ceremony. This is a time that we invite the spirit world back into our lives to come and visit us. I have a picture of my father um, who passed away a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, I remember him bringing me to the Santa Monica Pier as a child, you know, coming and checking out the people uh, fishing. And I remember I was just amazed at, at, a, at a man who was fishing with a, he had a, not even a fishing pole, he just had a, a, a can, like a, 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 you know, a soda pop can with a string and he was, he looked frustrated right when we got there and he was like, he looked at me, he was like, here man, you wanna try this? And right when he gave it to me, I caught a fish. <laughs> so I remember that moment uh, with my father and, and I'm sure many of you that have been to the Santa Monica Pier uh, have memories of the Santa Monica Pier. We wanted to, uh, you know, commemorate that as well. Uh, I wanna bring up uh, Sylvia Sanchez uh, and Ooh. Sylvia Sanchez representing <laughs> the Quintana family. Um, Sylvia, Sylvia and her family are the creators of what you see today. This altar that's beautiful, that uh, really is bringing in the spirits uh, today. Um, we, uh, we're so fortunate to have Sylvia and her family, you know, continuing this tradition, continuing the culture, uh, which is indigenous culture. I know we say Mexican, you know, this is from Mexico, but all Mexicans are indigenous people. You know, we have Indian blood or, you know, native blood, indigenous blood in us. And, that's why it's so important to honor that part of our ancestry and our history. So Sylvia's been doing Antares publicly since 2012. And uh, she, she's been doing an amazing, amazing job, not just in Santa Monica, throughout Los Angeles as well. So I want to give the uh, opportunity to Sylvia to tell us a little bit about her thinking into the Antar. Let's give a round of applause to Sylvia Sanchez. Well, welcome, welcome to the 
celebration here at the Carousel, everyone. Thank you for coming out and sharing this time with us. Uh, again, my name is Sylvia Sanchez. Uh, I'm from the Quintana family. So my grandfather, uh, my, my family that is I'm honoring here today is the Pedro family. My grandfather, Ramon, he settled here in Santa Monica uh, 90 years ago. Um, he came and uh, one of his first jobs was uh, he was a ranch handler for Will Rogers, and uh, he made his home here in Santa Monica, so I thank him all the time. And he gave us this opportunity to, to be uh, born and raised here in this beautiful seaside city. So um, I just wanted to you know, honor him and his family, my mother and her siblings. Uh, they grew up here. Uh, they grew up on 21st Street, where uh, Crossroads the school crossroads is, um, that's where they, they grew up and raised their children until the freeway came in. That's another story. <laughs> that's for another time. But um, anyhow, so we're here because we want to invite uh, our loved ones who have gone before us. And uh, we invite them and uh, to be with us, share time with us, share the space. And we celebrate them, remember them. We never forget. We always walk with them. They, they are guiding us constantly. And so, but this time we are inviting them back to the physical world and uh, we give them thanks. And uh, we remember our ancestors, we give thanks to them. Our ancestors, the people from the South. This is something that they gave to us. You know, the Aztecs and the Mexica, they were transition, uh, they believed in the transition, you know, transitioning from the spirit world into the physical world, so um, we continue that tradition. So uh, it's a, it, this is a labor of love, and I couldn't uh, do it by myself. I did not do this by myself. Uh, not only the ancestors helped, but so did uh, the, my siblings, my sister, Yolanda, Medina. She's so creative. She, went, she made me this crown. <laughs> uh, but Yolanda, Medina, and uh, Carmen Quintana, and Lisa Montoya, my husband, Felipe, who created, made the sign. Luis Romo, who did the graphic design on this sign. Ha uh, freehand, freehand. And so, and then my nieces and nephews are all helped. So everyone should be here. I don't do it by myself. So it's a great honor to be here. You know, being born and raised and rooted here. My mother is buried at Woodlawn. My great grandmother, aunts and uncles and grandfather are in Woodlawn. So no matter where I go, no matter where I live, if I move out of state or wherever it is, I come back here. My roots are here in Santa Monica. So it means a lot to me to be here with you all and that you all are here honoring uh, this day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sylvia. We uh, appreciate all your work and, and your family's contribution uh, to making this event ha happen today. Uh, I want to bring up the Executive Director of the Pico Youth and Family Center, Mr. Alex Aldana. Thank you, Oscar. You gotta hear me okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for Sylvia and the first Quintana family. Without this event, we're not here today. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, it's inspiring to be here amongst our ancestors, amongst the spirits, and on the wall of the of the Pico Youth and Family Center, you'll see the photograph of the Pico Youth and Family Center. And on the wall of the Pico Youth and Family Center, you'll see the photograph of the Pico Youth and Family Center. And on the wall of the Pico Youth and Family Center, you'll see the photograph so we want to honor their spirits today as well. Um, many of the young people I grew up with myself, such as Miguel Martin, Eddie Lopez, and a lot of the young people that are on the wall, they have been part of the youth center for many years. It, we carry their legacy with us today and in the future. So it, it's very inspiring for me to, to honor their lives here today, all the young people, all the Santa Monica residents that are on our altar. You, you will see the photographs of, of Santa Monica residents on the wall. I see Belinda Ramos on the wall as well. One of our one of our founders of Mothers for Justice here in the Pico neighborhood. So I would like to acknowledge her as well and, and all the other folks that are decorating our wall today and on the altars. So and I, want, I would like to acknowledge all the, all the families that are here that brought their children to, to learn about the Dia de los Muertos culture and the, the importance of uh, continuing this legacy 
to the future. So to all the children that are here, thank you for being here and for the families, for bringing the children. Thank you. And um, I would also like to acknowledge uh, the, the Santa Monica Peer Corporation, the Jim Harris and his staff, Julieta, who helped us all this weekend to set up the altar. So thank you to all the staff here today, the, the Peer Corporation and the Peer, peer uh, Conservatory. Thank you very much. And with that, I would like to welcome our next speaker, which is uh, Jim Harris. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Alex, and, uh, and thank you, Oscar. I'm gonna, if you don't mind. Uh, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, everybody who's uh, who's participated in making this happen, and thank you all for being here. And welcome to the Santa Monica Pier. For those of you who don't know, uh, I am Jim Harris, the executive director of the Santa Monica Pier Corporation. I've been on the pier for 32 years, and I actually. Um, when I started here in 1989, I was a bartender at the old Boathouse restaurant. So if any of you remember that, you know I've got some roots here. <laughs> and not, maybe not as deep a roots as, as Sylvia and, and the luck of having to, have, getting to grow up in Santa Monica. But uh, I think I've got pretty firm roots anyway. Um, a year ago, we, had, we put up La Katrina sculptures, if, if you all remember, out on the pier. And I thought that was such a good fit for the pier. And it just really felt like it belonged. So um, Oscar and I were taking a tour of the pier several months ago, and I asked him if there was anything he could do to help me um, with this year's Dia de los Muertos. And he came back a few weeks later and he said, Jim, I have an idea for you. Let's put an altar on the pier and have it honor people from the pier's past. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier is my, I'm really known as the pier's historian. I wrote the history book about the pier. So when Oscar said those words to me, it really touched my heart because I have spent a lifetime here honoring people that have come before and now we get to do it together. And that's, what the, that's why this altar is so important to me. And when, I, when he told me those words, when he said, let's do an altar to, to memorialize those people, immediately I knew this had to be an annual thing. So welcome to the first annual Dia de los Muertos welcome. great work and uh, Jim I mean thank you very much for opening your doors you know this is really an opportunity for us to build a bridge uh, with different parts of Santa Monica who a lot of times don't you know hang out you know in certain areas unless uh, there's free food and I'm just playing. <laughs> I love it I love it uh, that we're in the carousel though this is a, the energy here is amazing I mean how many children have been on that carousel this is the oldest building on the whole pier right it's, it's actually a national a national landmark, and this was built what year? 1916, so it's 105 years old. 105 years old, this building right here, 105 years old. So we have to honor that history, right? Like up there it says, honoring our ancestors, healing communities. And the last thing I want to say is, you know, I talked about how we die three times, right? Our body gives out, the funeral, but then when you're forgotten. Let's make sure that in this community and throughout Los Angeles that we are never forgotten when we pass on to the long life. Like the native people who I've been taught, you know, said, you pass on to the long life, right? And so let's not forget people. Let's make sure that we honor them, that their, their lessons, their memory is with us in our heart. Uh, you know, today I'll be definitely connecting with my father, you know, who's taught me so many lessons. And just this last past week, I've been thinking so much about him, about all the things that he's taught me and all the things that I'm trying to pass on to my children, to my boys as well. Um, so, you know, in the Mexican tradition, we, we don't, we're not crying today. Today's not a day to feel sad. Today, today's not a day when you look at a pig and say, oh, you know, my poor father. Today's a day when we celebrate. Today we are happy because we're inviting the spirits back. We're remembering people and we're not sad today. Today is not a day to be sad. You know, that was when we had the funeral and so forth, you know, but today's a day to rejoice, to celebrate the memory of those that have passed on because they're still with us, right? They're with us. They're with us in our DNA. They're with us in our souls. They're with us in the spirit, d depending on what you believe in, but they're definitely with us, uh, you know, looking down, whether it's heaven or whatever your belief is, uh, their energy is still with us here today. 
So with that, we want you all to celebrate. I know we have a ballet folklorico. Gina, are we ready for the dancers? Or? Yes, we are. Okay, so uh, we have a, a, a special treat. We're gonna have a group of uh, a young women. Any young men or all young women? Uh, uh, we have one gentleman here. Okay, great. Well, he's gonna get a, a, a special treat then for, <laughs> for being the courageous young man to, to be continuing also this beautiful tradition, this, this cultural expression, this dance that we know as Ballet Folklorico. Uh, but I know that this group, uh, uh, Cabeza de Vaca, and it's uh, uh, Santa Monica Ballet Folklorico, correct? Yes. They've been practicing uh, for probably weeks to give us this uh, beautiful uh, dance. And uh, Gina, you want it, you have the music ready or? Uh, Okay. So with that, I'm going to invite to the microphone Gina De Vaca with Santa Monica Ballet Folklorico, who's going to come and introduce the next uh, performance. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here, and thank you to these beautiful dancers. And as Oscar said, um, the school, the dance school is called Cabeza De Vaca Cultura, and the reason for that is I'm actually proud of my name. A lot of people that speak Spanish usually laugh when they hear my name, Cabeza de Vaca. But uh, Cabeza de Vaca, he came here 30 years after Columbus. And he did not have the same mindset as Cortez or Columbus. So he was an adventurer, a traveler, but he didn't have that mindset. He actually lived with the native people of the lands here in the Americas. So I am proud of my last name, Cabeza de Vaca. So that's why I named the school after that. Um, but our, we have folklorico and Aztec dancers and I thought it was important that our folklorico group was called Ballet Folklorico de Santa Monica because I'm from here, I live here, and um, most of my dancers are from here. And that was the whole reason that this folklorico group even got started. My mother, Mary, that's over there doing the face painting, her and I, um, we knew that we always had at least two folklorico groups here in Santa Monica, and all of a sudden we had none due to the gentrification that was happening here in Santa Monica. So we started teaching folklorical classes literally out of our yards, in our driveways. And we grew from there, and that was about 15 years ago. So here we are, uh, 15 years later, and we have all these beautiful dancers, and they're gonna come and show you what they have learned, and they dance so beautifully, and they practice so hard. So thank you dancers, and thank you everyone.